Yeah, her feet are definitely hurting more today. Huh, no sensitive. Good girl, come in. Very nice. Very nice. She's doing great. Really well, especially considering that I haven't brought Moose with me for several weeks. And he's pacing back and forth over there, being a lovely little distraction. Good. Very good. Ready? Come on. Good girl. I know. You want to be on that side, huh? This kind of session's not too bad, huh? Less walking, more treats. Ready? Good. Shorten up my leaf here, just in preparation. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. Completely ignored. Fabulous. Fabulous. So good. Yes, you're doing so well. There you go. walk up here and get in the shade it's not particularly hot um, but just for her comfort she likes to be in the shade little break yeah okay let's get you a smaller one so I'm not just giving you giant cookies every time Good girl. Good, so she's doing great. Um, we moved over closer. That's how close Moose is. It's only a couple of feet. We moved over closer because I didn't know if Lee was gonna try to walk past us with his person. So I wanted to be over here to keep Moose off the sidewalk. But that's really nice. And like I said, he's not particularly calm today. So that's really, a good sign for her that she's doing this well given that he's a little high energy and having a hard time being still also part of the reason that i let him be a little crazy i let him be imperfect because it helps with this type of session okay ready it's very nice very nice Good girl. Thinking. Good. Good girl. So in this particular situation, I'm gonna scooch myself over this way a little bit. So if I need to block her, I have my leg that I can use. And it's gonna be easier for me to get up and stand between her and Moose. I don't expect that to be a problem, but it's always good to be prepared to intercept or interrupt something that could happen. Huh. Especially with you. I don't want you trying to bite my dog. He also can't get any closer. He's at the extent of his leash right there. So that helps. Huh. I know you're talkative today. What you got? You got some stories for me. Watching. That's that's good. I can't even tell if she's actually looking at him. I think she's kind of looking past him. We'll check in and then goes back to whatever she wants to 
sniff or re-engage with me. Good. Good girl. Okay. This, this time I'm going to leave it. But again, the, the plan is going to be the same. If she tries to lunge or do anything, leash straight up. I'm going to step that direction between her and Miss. Okay. Can we down, please? Moose down. Very nice. Thank you. She kind of wants to take advantage of his being in a vulnerable position when I put him in a down. She kind of wants to go after him. That's something to be aware of. Good. Especially if you start to have her around any other dogs. Um, we're working on building up this type of calm around unfamiliar dogs or when we start to incorporate hi other family members' dogs. She sees a vulnerable position as a chance to take advantage. I'm gonna shorten up a little there. Great girl. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you got talking today. I don't understand. You've never done that before. You starving with your new diet? The food's no good. Mm. Okay. Other things that can trigger a reaction from her are me being in a more vulnerable position. So sometimes sitting down will do it. Sometimes petting will do it. Anything that seems like I've let my guard down or that I have kind of boosted her can trigger a reaction. <laughs> yeah, you made me jump. You did. Okay. Do you want to walk somewhere? All right, where are we going? That way? Okay, let's go. Can you show me where you want to go? This way? Let's go this way. <laughs> Just in the shade, huh? I want to be on that side. So I'm going to scoot you over. Good. See that limp? Quite a bit more than on Tuesday. Good girl. Very good. Here's your cookie. Very nice. Good. That was just noticing. That was a little bit more. Very good. And then speeding up to move away. All of that is fabulous. Now, I don't expect her to have that reaction with unfamiliar dogs. She's seen moose, what, a dozen times now? Somewhere in that ballpark. Um, and that helps considerably because she knows that he's not gonna do anything even if she lunges at him because she's trying. Oh, very nice. What a happy girl. Look at you go. Look at that little tail. Yeah, now we slow down again. Good. This is perfect. I'm really glad that I brought news today because I don't think we'd be able to walk very far with her feet the way they seem to feel today. Huh. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I know. The mail was delivered, so I grabbed news, muzzled her. We walked down around the corner and came back. And she did absolutely great until I was distracted and putting Moose back on the leash that ties him over there. Um, for safety reasons, I do not have him free to roam unless she is muzzled. I trust him to make good choices, but I'd rather not risk it. Um, so when I was clipping him back to that leash, she thought she could lunge over and bite him in the ass even with a muzzle on. That said, I was entirely prepared for it because she likes to try to sneak things like that and pulled up on the leash. She looked at me, stopped what she was doing, sat down and we walked back that direction. And now we've been sitting here for a few minutes. She's pretty much done. So this will probably be the last 15 or so minutes of our session. We're going to sit here and do this type of socialization with Moose over there doing whatever the hell he's doing, eating grass. Hey, 
thank you. And us sitting here in the shade. Go a little bit longer because we've only done it for maybe five minutes at a time. So we're going to do it a little bit longer because she's done. And to push it and see if she has any different reactions after 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 